in the slot to the top. Yarnell looking to throw for the first time. Has Mumfield, and that's going to be a first down conversion at the 32-yard line. Well, Yarnell looked pretty comfortable on that throw. Sauls, three for five on the year on field goal attempts, a long of 42. This will be from 48. Missed a couple last week against Tennessee that hurt Pitt. But this one right between the eyes. After a three and out, Western Michigan. It's second series, and that is an interception. Williams will take it to the house. Marquez Williams jumping the Jack Salapek route. And again, this is just another play that took way too long to develop. It's a little fake, and then the long throwing motion. And Williams was just sitting there waiting on that thing. You need to have a wide receiver out in front blocking. There was just too much space. He sat on it the whole entire time. That's a heady play by Marquez Williams, a fifth-year senior. Looking to throw again. Yarnell lofting it up, looking for Wayne, and he's got it. What a pass. Good touch. And Jared Wayne over the defender. Anthony Rob falls it in. Salapet has some happy feet. He's going to launch it deep. Looking for Crooms again. It's underthrown and it's intercepted. Picked off by Eric Hallett. Ninth play of the drive coming up. Third down and five. Third down has been an Achilles heel for the Broncos. Salapet on courts to the outside. Did he catch it? And they're going to bring pressure again. Here they come. Salapet throws to the end zone and it is picked. Picked off, intercepted. Here in Kalamazoo tonight, Don Davenport down on the sideline. Nate Yarnell in his first career start is going to throw it to a wide open tight end. There's Bartholomew with room to roll. And he's out inside the five at the three yard line. That's impressive. Yep, in his first career game. He'll give it to Abanacanda and he'll waltz in for a touchdown. Minute and a half to go in the quarter. Salapek. Going deep down the sideline, some contact. Sambucci comes back for the ball. Sambucci goes in motion. And the pass is high. Sambucci threw a two-point conversion last week at Ball State. He's got a touchdown this time. On second down at seven, there's the big hole. Davis, great run to about the six-yard line. He'll send his tight end in motion. That's Carter. Rolling out, Yarnell looking to the end zone. He's got a man, and it is caught. 34-13 is going to be the final score as Pitt gets the win.